Welcome back guys to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, where after climbing to the top of the Temple of Time and completing another shrine and getting stasis, we now come back to the sanctuary because I was wondering about the cooking recipe we've got. We've got ourselves of course our fish now for the dish, however this is a raw bird drumstick not raw meat so I'm just worried considering he gave us a specific place to go get it we weren't supposed to go there. So with that said, it's the Forest of Spirits that's in front of us. So let's find ourselves a way down and go hunting. Oh, you're, you've got to be Kepora Gabori or something like that. The way you get around. There's something special about you. That's, that's the 100% obvious bit. But what is it exactly? And what's with the... um? This here. Doesn't seem to be anything. The other thing I noticed, by the way, as well, while I was up there looking around, going, what shall I do next? That's bird. Because there's a bombable point over here as well. So I'm going to go get myself a nice reward. Because if it needs bombing, it's got to have a reward in it, hasn't it? Has this got a fairy under it again? Last time we picked up a rocket, did. Ooh. A rupee! Ooh. I've got money! Blue rupee. Five rupees. We're rich. Though, to be honest, I don't really think I need to buy anything in this world. Doesn't seem it, does it? Oh, wow. Picking these up is good. An amber. So what we learn is always pick up rocks. I've centered camera away rather than exploded. But what we get from that is some amber. Thank you. Right, so, obviously that campfire is something interesting here, but there's got to be beasts around. I don't think it means squirrel. A squirrel doesn't give squirrel. Squirrel gives a nut. An acorn. Well, we can make our nutty mushroomy dish. But I'd say that's what we're after, wouldn't you? Got ourselves a strong bow as well, so hunting should be a lot easier. Victory is ours. Now, can I trace that? Oh, that wasn't that far off. But I did get a nice view of my bum. Right, so that's what we want. Raw meat, like specifically raw meat. It's the grass. The grass is really the frame drop thing. Okay, your fingers as well. A Hyrule herb. This healthy herb goes abundantly in the plains of Hyrule. Cook it to get extra hearts by the look of it. Does this flower something too? Was a high tail lizard I could have caught there, but what the flare moved on. I got distracted because there was a boar in the background moving past, and I was like, ooh, hunting. Okay, this is definitely something. Like a trap? There's a camp nearby. Or a Korok! I did find you! So that's our third seed. So you got three of everything, basically, at this point. Uh, anything else? Ooh. I alerted you at the wrong time, didn't I? Hey, old man, what are you doing here as well? Oh. well if you're going to run towards me, I will take my shot. Oh, what are you doing, sir? Where did my prey go? Oh, did I scare it away? Oops. Well, 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 so we meet again. What are you doing? Can you not see that I'm hunting here? Oops. Don't scare off my prey like that. At least crouch down a bit. Okay, sorry about that. What are you doing? Hunting demands a great deal of focus. It keeps your mind off how much your back hurts from crouching all day. Got any tips, sir? First, crouch down and approach your prey quietly to ensure you will not be noticed. When you're close enough, the detection is nearly imminent. Draw your bow and let your arrow fly. We did it. We did it. We did it good. Aim thoughtfully. And you should be able to take down your prey with a single arrow. I'm rather tired. Yes. I think I'm going to take a small break. Cool. At a camp over here? Probably should have shot you. Oh well. Well, sir, what do you have in your camp for me to take? A traveler's bow if I want? Arrows? Yes, yes, yes. Torches? Doesn't seem like anything else is hidden around, does it? 
No boars around. Hmm, what is it? What are you doing now? My back is aching. I clearly need to take a little break. Say, courageous one, are you hungry? If so, please feel free to use my cooking pot to whip up a snack. If you need to start a fire, just light your torch on that campfire over there. Oh, okay. Oh, he's also got the quest text up, which is why I kind of talked to him, to be honest. Because I've got the ingredients. If I can get it here, this doublet is ours. Right, so... What do I do to light? Just press X? Or Y, even? That's cool. Right, so that's done and done. And I guess now we cook ourselves a dish. So we will be using one of these. I wonder if you can cook multiple dishes at once as well. Like if I were to... Oh no, I can only hold like a certain amount, can't I, as well. So that's what I want. Let's cook that. And so we got spicy meat and seafood fry. Grants low level cold resistance. A filling dish made by cooking fresh seafood and meat together. 3 minutes 30 of cold resistance. Nice. Do you know what? Before I talk to him, I may as well just make another one. I have a feeling... No! I had a feeling I was going to need it. He says. Well, let's try cooking some other stuff. What about I cook some glaze with some herbs? That's just a me thing to do, isn't it? Get rid of the thing you need. You never know what you might be able to cook. Energizing glazed meat. Instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. The sweetness of the honey permeates the meat, giving it a complex taste profile. I'm guessing that's just honey and meat. The herbs probably didn't affect anything by the look of it. Well, I made the dish. I want to sit by the fire. I want to talk to you. If you feel like cooking, you are welcome to use my cooking pot. I did cook something. I think I cooked what you wanted. Wait, is that... That looks just like my signature perfect dish. Spicy meat and seafood fry. Mm. But how did you... Well, I suppose that is not important. Can I trouble you to share the recipe? Yeah, no problem. Ah, of course, Hyrule Bass. How could I have forgotten? Mm. Well done. Now please allow me to reward your culinary efforts with this warm doublet. And I like the colour. Nice, a warm pullover, particularly worn by mountain folk, its sturdy fabric and thick gloves are great at retaining body heat. Cold resistance. Mm. With that, you'll be able to resist the bite of colder environments. As for me, I know a great spicy meat and seafood fry recipe, so I can do about that warm doublet. Well, I'm, I'm fine with it having the doublet. Thank you! Plus, I look more fancy. Finally. Finally. Right, well, so with that gain, then, I guess we're off to see the wizard with cold resistance gained. Oh, you can actually see on the temperature gauge as well. It changes. So it's the next shrine next, but I did see that camp nearby, so let's uh, check that out in the meantime, eh? Is it just better to shoot you rather than chase you? Yes, it is. So if you catch them, you catch them live. I don't mind more raw meat, that's for sure. But either way, they're cookable. Right then, so definitely an encampment with stuff. They're eating at the moment by the look of it. Well, if you're going to run for me head first, that's stupid. Just going to point that out. Is he dead? The answer to that question is yes. Let's break all pretense. We're going for it. I could have stealth killed them all, but no. Let's just go for it. Winner is a win. Doesn't matter which way you do it. Right. Rewards are ours. And to be honest, the most important thing for me is to get back my arrows. Of course, I can't get the lower than ones that were actually used, but I can definitely take that. Right. Rewards. An opal. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, so where are we going next is the question. Well, it's that way, but it's at the top of that mountain. Well, actually, it's probably over more than one mountain. Yes, it is. So that mountain doesn't even apply. I'm probably better off warping and getting there. We got our rewards after all. Hopefully, we can take the cold. 
And if not, if that's not enough, I can double up by eating the food, surely. Haha, free, 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 and five. The rupees. We are rich beyond our wildest dreams. Or at least richer than we were. I'll take that. Okay, so by reading that, if I run out of stamina, I get returned to dry land unless I run out of hearts. If I run out of stamina while swimming, that's nice to know that I'm not going to just instant KO. But I still need to make it to that riverbank. Right, so essentially, if we start climbing, we should be able to get where we need to be. Let's just climb gently the rest of the way. Right, we are a lot closer than we were before. There's a camp over there. What about up here? This is quite a high point after all. Doesn't seem like there's anything else around. I'd say that's an important point though, to get across. Hello, high tail lizard. Well, running chilled water. Not the cleverest thing to go into, would you say? I wonder if it makes a difference whether you're going somewhere in day or night as well. That's a good point. Well, let's bust this encampment because it's on my way. And even though I don't have an actual use for most of the rewards yet. So who are we fighting? Ooh. Is there any way I can fight these guys differently? Are those metals, a metal box. Most importantly, we'll take you out first. So the rest are just guys around there. Can I cause discord? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to see it. I moved the camera away. It blew up one of them at the very least. But now they are coming. Ooh. She'll protect me there. I need to take this one out. The fiery spear. I'm not really that worried about you. Well, there goes my sword. But there comes a reward. A lot of the times they're weapons, so you never know, I might get something good back in exchange. I should be able to get that arrow that came off, as far as I'm concerned. Right, an amber. I wonder if there's a difference between picking up the saplings or not. Well, let's head on our way yet again and see what else we can see. Night is coming and I do wonder if that will deviate the temperature. Well, that fire is quite handy. But it's not under that pot. Ah! Ooh, there's a different coloured one here. Good shot. Well, I guess it's more the attack power that I'm doing here. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Guy? You think you can start throwing rocks at me? Alright, let's take out Mr. Bow and Arrow Guy. Oh, what are these? Peppers? Ah, so if you came here, it's given you a hint of what to do. 
I just wonder if I can burn down this camp, to be fair. That's kind of the thing that it would allow you to do. Because there's a fire nearby. Could I burn the tree and then burn them? Be a bit mean. But I'm really tempted to find out. Because, of course, I could use that as well. He's stuck up above me, not able to do anything at the moment. Right. Let's try it, eh? It's not like he's going to attack me in the meantime. No, it doesn't work. That could have been quite an interesting scenario. Right, so essentially, I need to shoot down... Is that up there? Oh, I changed... Did I stupidly... <laughs> whistle... Oh, wow, you can whistle them for stealth purposes. It's kind of cool. So it's time for us to challenge one another, is it? Oh, he's... Do I dare? Do I dare? Ha! <laughs> Success! A soldier's broadsword is gained from it. These guys always give good weapons. And what's this here? A spiked boko shield as well, with much more resistance. Of course, I can't carry it at the moment, but I will be, that's for sure. Well, I'm getting some defense here. I'm getting some nice stuff. Apart from that, the other rewards. So arrows, of course, I'd need them after getting up here. Wait a second. That's not the shrine I'm after. That's another one. Entirely. Isn't it? It is. Let's mark that. It's off my beaten path, but it doesn't hurt to mark it, does it? Well, so we got ourselves loads of peppers. Loads of stuff in general, but now it's about getting ourselves over the way. So it seems on our coldometer, we are okay with this weather. Currently, until the evils start to appear. Well, someone's chucking something at me. Let's use the Traveler's Sword. Oh, no. Ah, shield. Perfect. I'm not already taking out your head. Yeah, get feared, but I guess it's any head can do. Don't even know how you guys have so many fangs. So we got to make it across here. And by the look of it, we have to place. It's Magnus time. A ton of these guys as well. Glad that you guys aren't waking up. Thank you. Don't jinx it, Sam. Should remember not to say the stupid things. An ancient shaft as well may come in handy someday. Well, this is more exploring than ever before. Right, so. First of all, I need to line myself up. Then the job of putting it down. Is that fine there? It doesn't seem to be moving in a bad way. First trial complete. Second trial, climb that. What's that? Oh, ice keys! You'll probably give me something nice if I get you. But I guess I've got to get him ranged to uh, trigger. Oi, guy! 
Come back. Can you see I'm hunting you? Oh, there you go. I guess I could use the fire arrows, but... So there's ice wings as well. You never know what might be used for what. It looks like a path up there. Yeah, let's go this way. If it looks like a path, then it's probably a path. The other thing I'm looking for is anywhere to bomb. Whoa, 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 icy chews. And they explode. I'm so glad I shot you. Is that due to you being iced up then? White choo-choo jelly. It's cool to the touch and squeeze and it seems to release stress. If struck, it will explode in a cold mist. Oh, 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 better pick it up then. Um, yeah. I just worried that it, because it was down there like that. Oh, I should have kept my shield up. Close them. My traveler's sword's not gonna last too long at this rate. What's the bow? I should probably switch to a weaker bow. There's those eyeballs that are supposedly rare. To be honest, I could probably just slash them. But that is a way up through the mountain. And as we see, more ice key. Probably don't want to get touched by them though. Oh, we're getting on it. I'm so glad I got this doublet, though. I mean, you could have done it with food, but then I'd have had a time limit. Earning this first and foremost was a great win. Well, I do wonder how the temperature will change depending on where I am. If I go up to the peak, will it get colder? Because that's usual. It looks like there's a camp to bust fruit before we get to the shrine, but with some hunting done, some cooking, and some exploration, we've made it into icy climates with this doublet to help us. Join me next time on Breath of the World as we push on for our last shrine. Bye-bye.